G'day guys, welcome to Pepsing. Now, here is 10 tips and tricks for Discord that some of you may not know. Now, I can guarantee you probably haven't seen at least one of these tips in my list, so that is why I'm putting them in this video. These tips I've actually found to be super useful when I'm on Discord, and well, if you do know all these tips, feel free to comment below and let me know. Also, you can comment below other tips that people might not know about or ones that I didn't mention in this video. So anyway, here's some tips and tricks for both Discord users and server owners. Please enjoy and subscribe to see future videos like the one just like this that is coming out in a few days or this one that is coming out in a few weeks. All right, first one. Are you sick of your text emoji turning into an actual emoji every time you send it and you just want to keep it as a normal text? Well, to turn off auto emoji, click down to your user settings then head to text and images, then go down to automatically convert emoticons in your messages to emojis and just turn it off and then quit out and it should be fixed. Look at that. Tip number two, if you click control plus forward slash at the same time, Discord will show you this screen full of shortcuts and there's a huge amount of shortcuts here. My personal favorite being alt up, which navigates between channels and alt shift up or down, which navigates between unread channels. Oh, and also you can press the directional keys to play some musical notes on Discord. Speaking of the forward slash, if you click the forward slash, you'll immediately see a list of Discord text commands that you can use, such as the table shrug I just showed just before this, or the unflip, or the shrug. Tip number three. Another one for server owners is that you can actually ping roles using bots, such as me6, and you know, other bots, and you'll also tag the specific roles so people get notified. Tip number four, you can change or even add a custom status to your profile in a Discord server. I've actually got a video right here to teach you guys how to do that, but I'll show you this one for free because you know, it's actually really easy. Anyway, all you gotta do is click your profile and then click set custom status and you can just type whatever you want. Set it for however long you wanna have it and then press save and you've got yourself a custom status. And for mobile users, you can actually do this on mobile. I'll show you how to do this on screen right now. All you're gonna do is click on your profile, set status, and then set custom status. Pretty easy. Next up, tip number five. You can actually make Discord colored text when writing your message, and you can also make a whole range of other different text formats, as you can see right here on the screen, which does make your text look a lot more cool, but it does take some time to explain properly. I've actually got a Discord colored text tutorial already available, so if you want to learn how to make Discord colored text and the other text below here, just click on this tutorial video, and I'll show you exactly how to do all of those in that video. Tip number six, folders. If you want to have a folder for specific servers on your server, a list on the left here. All you gotta do is click and hold on a specific server and then drag it over another one and then let go and it will become a folder full of whatever servers you wanna chuck in there. Nice and easy and quick. All right, I'm sure like 99% of you knew that, but if you didn't, there you go. Now you know how to make a folder. Number seven, you can actually add emojis and animated emojis to the top of your server just like what you see right here. Unfortunately, it is a little complicated to do, but I do have a full video explanation right here that you guys can click on, showing you how to make animated emojis on both PC and mobile, because it's actually like kind of impossible to do on mobile, but I did figure out a way for you guys on how to do it on mobile. All you need to do is watch the video. It's actually a pretty quick video as well and I hope you enjoy that one. Number eight, all right, for server owners, you can view your server as a specific role when you wanna like test permissions and channels and things on your server. This is actually super useful for server owners. So you just go up to your server and then click on server settings, then go to roles, and all you need to do is just choose whatever role you wanna be to view your server as, and then all you gotta do is click view server as role. And well, firstly, you can see it kicked me out of the text channel that was just private for the server owner, such as myself, and now I'm just basically the base level verified role in my server. So I'm actually viewing as a specific role in my server. You can also select roles and stack roles to view things as if you had different permissions stacked on from being in different roles. Much like everyone in your server, they're gonna have more than one role. And then when you're done, just click disable and you're back to normal. Tip number nine. You can add connections like your YouTube channel, your Spotify, all things like that to your profile as you can see right here. And it will show up on your profile when people click on your profile and they can click to get taken to your connection. So all you gotta do is go down to your user settings, click on user settings, then go to connections, click on whatever you wanna add. Let's say you wanna add Spotify, all you gotta do is click on that and then just sign in, yada, yada, yada. And then when someone clicks on your account, they can see your connections and when they click on it, they'll get taken to your account. Okay, final tip. If you wanna be part of a Hype Squad and get the Hype Squad badge, all you gotta do is click on your profile settings once again, head down to Hype Squad, 
and then click on the quiz that'll be here or watch the video first and then you've got the badge one of three different houses and it will be on your profile as a badge right next to your name. So that is all the Discord tips. Please subscribe if this video helped you in any way, guys. Comment below if you already knew all these tips or if there's a tip you'd like me to mention in another video. Please also come join my Discord server. Link in the description and probably in the comments. Click on one of the videos recommended to you right now and you'll be taken to another one of my videos. Hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.